Hello, my name is Lijin George, working as Associate Professor in Mechanical Department, Vedavasa Institute of Technology. In today's Tech Talk, I have selected the topic, Meta Materials and their Novel Properties in Mechanical Design. First, I will explain what is the difference between the traditional materials and meta materials. Traditional materials are the materials which are available in nature like iron, aluminium, gold, silver. All these materials are available in nature as ore. From the ore, we can extract the materials. And also, it is difficult to change the properties of the materials. All the properties of the materials are inherent in nature. For example, metals, there are certain inherent properties such as corrosion, wear and tear, then hardness, all those things are already described by the nature itself. So we have only a little control over the property of the materials. But meta materials, these materials are not available in nature. We are designing those materials. By designing the materials properly, we can control the property by arranging the or rearranging the structure of each materials. Like how we are tailoring our clothes, we can tailor the property of such meta materials. So, all those meta material properties we can tailor, as I told previously, we can make the meta materials by carefully arranging the structure of the all those materials in a microscopic level. By defining the structure of in microscopic level, we can design the properties in a macroscopic level. For example, we can use such kind of materials for a better quality of sound as in using speakers and other sound devices. We can also use these materials to properly trap the light. For example, the light sensors that we are using now. By using the meta materials, we can increase the efficiency of such sensors to a higher level. We all know what is a refraction, right? The light will be inclined at an angle when it enters into some materials. But negative refraction means it will reflect back at an angle opposite to the incident angle. So all these wonderful properties we can design for meta materials. Now coming to important property known as negative poison ratio. So poison ratio by means suppose we are extending a material in the case of a rubber band if we extend using force we can extend the rubber right so while extending automatically the thickness of that material will be reduced but in negative poison ratio means instead of reducing the thickness such materials will increase the thickness so just the opposite of the normal stretching process. This is due to their unique internal structure of the material materials. So why we are using such material means normally some materials extends when the thickness decreases the energy absorption of such materials will be reduced. So just imagine the opposite. If the material thickens such materials can withstand high energy absorption. So we can also improve the toughness 
and also the damage caused to such materials. And also such materials will be superior to in indentation resistance. Indentation means suppose we are putting a needle or nail, we can see a small hole, right? Such things are known as indentations. So such materials will be highly resistance against indentation. Then meta material applications are not limited. We can design lightweight and high strength materials. We can use materials to absorb the vibration and shocks as we are using shock absorbers in automobiles. So just imagine a meta material we are using for shock absorption. We can improve the riding efficiency, right? Also, we can use the materials to harvest energy. For some example, we already heard about piezoelectric materials, which will produce electric current or voltage when applied pressure. So, we can use these materials to harvest the energy. So, it is applicable in all the biomedical field also. Then, meta material actuators can be designed with high efficiency. Then the future of meta materials is we have very high scope for such materials. For example, we can manipulate the light. We can design these materials in all the light sensors and who knows we can also design a better light emitting diodes also. So manipulating the light we can design many instruments. Also it can be used in shock absorbers in automobiles and all other equipments. Application in biomedical field is high. We can use artificial limbs, we can create the meta materials in such a way that the artificial limbs that are designed will be having very low weight and it will be having very high strength. We can design a very good sensors using meta material sensors, right? But the main problem in meta materials that we are using today is it is very complex in design. So in microscopic level we have to design it, right? So that is very complex. Also the cost required for production is very high. The availability of such materials is the problem. So the pro main reasons that we can use for high scale production is, as I told before, is the complex design, then the cost and the availability of materials. Then by today's knowledge, the prediction of the properties, suppose we want to design web materials with the desired properties by arranging the structure, right? So the outcome of the such things may not be as expected by today's knowledge. But who knows, by better studying the meta materials, we can improve this predictive modeling and design. So let me conclude the main properties of meta materials. As I told, these materials are not available in nature. And we can tailor the properties. So it has a very high potential in all the fields of engineering and also in medical field also. As I told, we have to, right now we have lot of hurdles by for large scale manufacturing, but we know that it has a very high future. So meta materials offer exciting possibilities for the future of mechanical design. Let's explore how we can leverage this technology to create innovative solutions.
தேங்க்யூ